Hey guys, so today is going to be another quick and simple recipe. This one is for a spinach artichoke dip, which is going to be great for the upcoming New Year's parties. So of course we need some ingredients. To start off with, you need cream cheese, two eight ounce blocks. You want these softened to almost room temperature. Regular or light will work just fine. Eight ounces of sour cream. If you're not a huge sour cream fan, you can definitely cut it back to four ounces. You will need a couple cups of Romano, Parmesan, and mozzarella cheese. So I went ahead and bought the Italian blend, which has all of them combined into one. You need some chopped frozen or fresh spinach. You're also going to need a couple cans of the quartered artichoke hearts. You can use fresh on those as well. Some garlic, um, either fresh or the squeezy bottle works fine. And then some salt and pepper for flavoring. You will also need a Pyrex plate for the oven. This one is an eight by eight, any size will work fine. Before you get your ingredients mixed up, you definitely wanna go ahead and start that oven, baking on 350. And you're going to, because we're using frozen spinach, if you're using fresh, obviously you can skip this step, but you wanna take about two cups, I used a little more than two cups of frozen spinach and put it in some cold water just in a colander to let it um, soak in there and get all of the wetness out because you don't want it to be wet for the, the dip. So we're taking those two eight ounces of softened cream cheese and adding about two cups of the regular shredded cheese in there. And then we're also adding the sour cream. Like I said, I used the whole eight ounces, but if you don't like it as tangy, you can definitely use half a cup instead of an entire cup of the sour cream. And then you're just going to uh, put a little bit of garlic and who can forget the salt and pepper? So the pepper that I'm using is the grinding pepper. So I'm using whole pepper grinds and then just grinding a bunch of it because we like pepper in my family and using some light salt. And then you're going to mix, mix, mix to your heart's content. This first mixing is definitely the most crucial because you really want to get that uh, cream cheese blended with the sour cream so you don't have spots of tanginess and spots of bitter and then also mixing it with the shredded cheese is really important to get the flavors distributed evenly. Now that that the, literally the spinach was only there for maybe 10 minutes, you want to go ahead and toss it around, get as much water out as you can, and then whatever's left over, squeeze in a paper towel. You see how much excess that has? You definitely do not want it to be wet for this dip because then it'll make the dip a little bit too soggy and you don't want that. So squeeze out as much as you can of it and then we're going to go ahead and take it out of the napkin and kind of just break it up as you're putting it in with the cream cheese. It is definitely easier to mix when it's a little bit broken up. And you'll see when I distribute this that it's not as much spinach. My family likes the way that I do it. If your family loves spinach, then you can definitely add the entire bag of spinach. I think it would be perfectly fine as long as it's chopped because when you have the fresh, it tends to be long and stringy and it doesn't cut up well when you're trying to eat it. So now, we're gonna take the artichokes and just rough chop those. They were already quartered, so you don't have to do much to it, but rough chop those. If your family likes artichokes more, definitely use bigger chunks, more of it. My family's not a huge fan, so I'm just adding a little bit into the mixture. This is the one of the most important mixes because along with the first one, you wanna get those flavors distributed evenly. This one has all of everything in it, so you want to go ahead and distribute it. Taste test that of course, and it was so good I had to go back in for seconds. You want to take your Pyrex plate and go ahead and dump the mixture into the Pyrex, and then once you've got it all even and spread around as good as you can, it, that way it'll bake evenly. You want to go ahead and pop that sucker in the oven, set your timer for 20 minutes, and then boom, it's done. Take it out, it's nice and bubbly and gooey, and there you have it, your spinach artichoke dip. If you like it more bubbly and gooey, you can leave it in longer, not too long though, so it doesn't dry out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you use it for your New Year's Eve parties. If you do, Instagram me or tweet me, I'd love to see it. And thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next one, bye.